The minimum requirement of a network is to have at least two end stations and a single point-to-point -point connection between them to transmit data. For today, we'll talk about the different types of cables that can be used to transmit data on a computer network. Hello guys, welcome to my presentation on physical layer communications and we'll talk about the transmission media used in computer networks. Today we'll be discussing network cable types, supported standards and cable connectors, methods of communication based on direction and signal encoding. We'll start with the coaxial cable. It consists of a solid copper wire at the core for transmitting data, a dielectric material, copper mesh and an outer insulation. The coaxial cable comes in two types or standards, 10 base 2 and 10 base 5. In 10 base 2, 10 means that 10 megabits of data passes through the cable every second and base represents baseband which means the signal passing through the cable is transmitted in its raw form. 2 represents the maximum distance of transmission in the cable approaching 200 meters but the actual distance is 185 meters. The same principle applies to 10 base 5, except that its maximum transmission distance is 500 meters. Looking at both cables, the 10 base 2 has a thin wire at the core. For this reason, it is called thin wire, thin net, thin ethernet, or 10 base 2. The same principle applies for 10 base 5, which has a thick wire at the core. To connect any of these cables to a computer, you need a connector to terminate the naked end of the cable. This connector is called a BNC connector for 10 base 2 or N connector for 10 base 5. Coaxial cables, however, are no longer used in computer networks today because they suffer from a term called collision, which causes data to be lost. And most importantly, they have been replaced by better cables and standards. They are mostly used today to connect antennas to your local television. Twisted pair cables. This cable is mostly seen lying around today because of its great transmission speeds, flexibility, and cheaper cost. They come in various categories, and standards have been designed for the cables to support Ethernet transmission. Twisted pair cables are in different categories. Some of them are category 3, 4, 5, 5E, and 6. The category 3, 4, and 5 support a standard known as 10 base T, where T means twisted pair. Any twisted pair cable supporting 10 base T Ethernet can carry data at 10 megabits per second, just like the coaxial cables. The category 5 cable also supports 100 base TX standard, which allows a transmission speed of up to 100 megabits per second. Category 5 enhanced twisted pair cables support 1000 base T standards, which allows a transmission speed of up to 1000 megabits per second. Cables that support transmission speeds of 100 megabits per second are said to support fast Ethernet, and cables that allow for 1000 megabits per second or more support gigabit Ethernet. Initially, twisted pair cables were made up of only two pairs of twisted copper cables inside it, but currently, four pairs are used in order to improve the overall performance and capabilities. It may be unshielded or shielded to provide protection for the signals from being corrupted during transmission. Finally, we use an RJ45 connector to terminate twisted pair cables following a method known as crimping before connecting to a computer. All cable categories mentioned transmit up to a maximum distance of 100 meters, except the CAT6 which supports 10 gigabit per second transmission speed for up to 50 meters. Cables made from copper carry signals in the form of electrical waves. The part of an optical fiber cable used for carrying signals is made from glass, and signals are transmitted in the form of light. Optical fiber cables come in two modes, single mode and multi-mode fiber. Multi-mode fiber can carry multiple light signals together, but it can only do this for short distances. For long distance transmissions, the single mode fiber is used although it can carry only a single signal at one time. Some standards used to support Ethernet transmissions over optical fiber cables are 10 base F, 
100 base FX, 1000 base LX. Optical fiber transmission is the fastest means of transmitting data through guided media. Interfaces for connecting optical fiber cables are not present on computers. They are mostly used for high speed and long distance transmission. They are also used for connecting switches or routers together using connectors such as FC, LC, SC, or ST connector. Generally, there are three modes in which data is transmitted based on direction. These are simplex, half duplex, and full duplex transmission. In simplex communication, transmission can only occur in one direction and not the other. In half duplex, transmission can occur in both directions but only one direction at a time. In full duplex, transmission can occur in both directions at the same time. Finally, data is represented as a signal for physical layer communication through a process known as encoding. The method of encoding depends on the type of cable and the standard used over the cable. For example, 10 base 2 uses Manchester scheme to encode data. Another reason for encoding is to provide a clocking mechanism between the sender and receiver. Clocking helps a device know when to capture and interpret signals on its interface. Check out the questions on the next slide. Watch out for the brief description of encapsulation, same time next week, to get a better understanding of how data is processed from the application layer before being represented as a signal. If you learned something from this video, please leave a comment, like, subscribe, and share so others can benefit too. Thank you for watching.